The train on team will go into months intensive training in preparation for the annual Australian Skill at Arms Meet in Melbourne next month. Force Preparation Commander-in-Chief Colonel Siale Deros said this year's competition attracted teams from various units around the country. Our, ha our weapon handling and our accuracy at engaging targets is very important. Our soldiers, sailors, airmen and women must be able to deploy their weapon system in a manner that is accurate and that is safe. The participating teams were 1st Royal Pacific Islands Regiment, 1 RPIR from Taurama, 2 RPIR from Moem, Wiwek, the 4th Support Battalion, FSB, Murray Barracks, Air Transport Wing Division, HMAS Tarangau Naval Base in Manus, and Goldie River Training Depot. Every year, the competition is improving okay? the ability of the soldiers. Uh, now, the maximum skills, yes, I'm improving more than now. Yeah. Whereby also we talk the scores, and we've been determining uh, the selection of the team. The competition was tough and challenging, but competitors shoot it out to gain recognition from numerous selected sites and techniques. The Long Range Reconnaissance Unit was the top performing team on the range. Colonel Duro said shooting is an individual skill that is developed over time with constant practice and realistic training in order to perfect the art. You know, I'd like our people to know. But our soldiers are skilled and in their hearts, they want to serve our country and our people to the best of their ability. The shooters compete in range practice over two weeks, firing from different positions using different techniques in deliberate, rapid, snap and moving target practices from ranges of 100, 200 and 300 meters. The officers were supported by staff from the Goldie River Training Depot and notably by Warrant Officer Gary Iton from the Australian Defence Force. The 10 selected soldiers will participate in the Australian Army Skill at Arms meeting, focused at skill at arms combat that encompasses small arms system designed to allow for the assessment of all arms system capabilities, equipments and targetry, and training analysis of combat shooting techniques, weapon training doctrine and small arms practices. Shane Saroya, National MTV Sports.